Hello, my name is Tejas and uh, uh, I work with Reap Benefit. Reap Benefit is a not-for-profit organization. Uh, our goal is to activate young people to solve civic and environmental problems around them. I'm here to tell the story about how free and open source software was used uh, to, in one of such cases to solve a civic problem of potholes. In 2020, uh, in response to a case filed in 2015, uh, one of the, uh, the public authorities in Bangalore after five years uh, of the case being filed they, uh, about potholes, like, hey, there are a lot of potholes, uh, they got back to the High Court saying there's only 439 potholes across 1,300 kilometers of road in Bangalore. And uh, once this data was released, uh, this was a bit surprising. And many people thought that it was very inaccurate because there are approximately more than 30,000 kilometers of road in Bangalore, including main roads, arterial roads. And clearly there are a lot more potholes, that's what the citizens felt. Karnataka State High Court, uh, in order to validate this information which is submitted by the public authority, whether it's correct or no, uh, they tasked the Karnataka State Legal Services Authority, what's the reality on ground about potholes. So, so they reached out to NGOs like us. So uh, um, there's re-benefit, there's uh, just to name one, some more at the time it was like uh, uh, Kanakpura Change Makers, who was an, another uh, uh, local RWA from Bangalore. and then few more so they tasked us with the information that uh, you need to uh, you know we need the crowdsource information about potholes and issues on road um, and in order to respond to that uh, really quickly uh, using free and open source software we were able to build a chatbot the software to build the uh, chatbot uh, it's uh, it's called glyphic uh, it's a uh, it's a, it's a software provided specially for NGOs uh, and it has, the product has been developed by uh, a larger uh, uh, tech for dev organization. Uh, the chatbot uh, uh, was launched to the citizens uh, through newspapers, through Twitter, through lots of other social media campaigns. And uh, what they could do uh, easily with this uh, chatbot using their WhatsApp was uh, share a location, share a picture or videos of uh, the potholes where they saw in and around their areas. Once they shared this location, we could map it and show it on a dashboard of the city. And again, this information was available open to the citizens and also to the legal services authority and to the high court. Uh, within three weeks, we were able to collect 5,400 data points, uh, uh, more than 5,400 data points uh, about potholes and issues of footpaths and uh, uh, just roads being unsafe. And this was all done through crowdsource information, which was made available both to uh, the legal service authority. Legal services authority submitted the report to High Court. The High Court used this. Uh, High Court accepted this data, and uh, they they are now using this data to hold the BBMP accountable to get these issues fixed. So this is a story about how free and open source software or solutions uh, are is can be used to uh, actually get. Uh, you know, like get civic problems solved, which bother a lot of people. This was among the many things that uh, uh, how we use data at Reap Benefit is to map issues and then use, uh, you know, like uh, geolocation data, like JS data, along with pictures and location, and then the information, like qualitative information provided by the citizens to triangulate, like, hey, what could be the problem? So, like, one is potholes. Uh, there's issues like urban flooding that happens. So, if you know the location, if you know uh, since how long it has been happening, if you know the quality information provided by the citizens, then we're able to triangulate and identify like, hey, these are the five problems that could exist, which then arrive us, uh, but more than us, the authorities also to figure out what could be possible solutions to be implemented uh, uh, for, for, you know, like many such problems, which there's very lack of information about. Okay, hi, hi everyone. I'm Mohammed Shamoon. Uh, I work for a software company called Coloredco. Coloredco works for uh, various products in social sector as well as for profits. But lately, we have been working for social sector organizations, and we came across a product called Glyphic. Glyphic uh, uh, is a start, like it's a open source project that started by Donald Lobo. Uh, he was once a Yahoo member. When he started his project, he was working on uh, social sector projects, uh, working with various NGOs around uh, India, India. And when he came across this problem, uh, when COVID came in, so NGOs could not go to their beneficiaries to talk about various problems. Like NGOs used to go to schools, to various places, to uh, uh, aware people about uh, most of the things. 
So when this came in, uh, we thought our problem, uh, the problem is there. So how do we solve it? Uh, we saw like WhatsApp is a medium that is used by everyone, like from an old generation also to a uh, youngest generation as well. So that could be a medium where we can make people aware and that should be done at scale. There are solutions for that, that WhatsApp has a business API. There's a for-profit solutions for that, but that is really costly for an NGO. Uh, so what we focused on was uh, purely for social sector that will build platform that would be open source and that can help NGOs to scale their platform better. And if you have heard the recent story of Reef Benefit, so they, they are one of our clients. So they are doing uh, civic engagement problems, like they are targeting Bangalore people to identify potholes in their areas and then uh, like take photo in their WhatsApp and send the location. And then they present it to government to uh, uh, see their data and you can benefit from that. Another organizations uh, like Star Education, uh, uh, lend a hand India. So they work on uh, education sector. So they help students uh, to learn uh, outside of school in their homes, in artworks and various other forms and helps them to know like what's other than engineering and doctorate. Like they uh, apply to various platforms, uh, various uh, areas that they can apply to. So that is just a chatbot builder that they've made. They've made a flow like if you are in class 10th, uh, they get the basic information from people like I'm from class 10th, I'm from class 12th, and then they get uh, like you can do this, this, and this. So we are like an enabler to various organizations and they can just uh, like, since it's an open source project, you can just fork it and uh, try it out and you can modify it according to you. And what we are trying to build is for social sector. So because like if for a prof for profit, it's easy to buy things. It's easy to like get enterprise solutions. But yeah, for non-profits, it's really difficult to get such low cost uh, affordable things. And that we are trying to build. And this is the community of tech for dev that Lobo started. And we are building various products. One is Avni, Glyphic we had yesterday talk. Avni we are going to have. And once there's an Arbital as well. So we are trying to build this open source projects uh, so that that can help social sector. So one thing uh, to know about social sector, so each NGO or each organization, uh, they try to build their own platforms and like it's uh, very costly for them. So what we're trying to enable them, like get to know these are the open source alternatives for them and try this out. Maybe it fits your need and we can modify what that and that we are really trying to build, trying to build that community. So recently we had uh, uh, a meetup of eight education sector NGOs and you will not believe like each of them are kind of save, uh, solving the same problem in somewhat different technical tools in different ways. If they could have just come together and talked about it and they talked about it and they came to know like I'm teaching from first to eight, from nine to ten to another NGO, then we can work together and think about a solution. It's about the collaboration and the thinking of how people are uh, like coming together and thinking about a solution and then they're just posting and we're dis on a discussion. So how people are coming together and thinking of a solution of a problem that we are trying to solve in the real world. That's what open source is about, uh, I think, open-minded discussion.